Alright. <clears throat> I've been waiting on the get to work back on the Kansas cabin. This is it right here. We got in last night. Oh had a lot of trouble getting that trailer up here with all that load that we had on it. So uh, that was exciting. I think I started out with three spare tires and ended up with one. I think we got one left. Oh, got in here last night, got a lot of our stuff moved in, you know, cause it was so uh, thundering and lightning out there real bad last night. Oh, did get up, I bought, I had bought an air conditioner, got it out of the box, put it in the window right there, w tried to get cords to work, couldn't find something to work, finally got it figured out. Oh, little 14,000 BTU air conditioner. And i tell you what, it had it freezing in here, didn't it, kid? Yeah, it was uh, Saturn on 67, and it uh, it flat sure done it. But the insulation in here is making a world of difference. And uh, I got a photo shoot today, so I got. Don't make yeah, she's putting on makeup. She's got a photo shoot today with uh, a company of ours, and then uh, and I'm gonna be working as soon as it quits raining, cause it's rained all. I mean, all night long it's been thundering and lightning, but we did sleep pretty good. But that's what's uh, that's what's about to happen. I'm gonna start working, and uh, she's gonna get that photo shoot done. And, and hopefully, to where I can help him some too before I gotta fly back home. Yeah, she's got a. Yeah, she's flying to Alaska next week. So, anyhow, about to get something rolling. I don't know what. We got the tractor and everything else up here, and I can't even uh, use it because it's flooding. About to get it done though, y'all. Y'all hang in there. We're gonna get something done this week. All right. I'm getting a late start. It's probably 1, 1 30, something like that. Oh, I had to drive Hannah this morning to Kansas City to put her on a plane back to the house. And then Wednesday, she's flying out with Christy Lee to uh, to go uh, caribou hunting in Alaska. So she's gonna be up there for like 11 days. So what I'm doing right here is I slid this stuff to the side. I'm probably going to just snatch those mattresses off and then that way I don't get, you know, dust and, you know, all that rust and all that stuff off that metal on it uh, while I'm working in here. But uh, I was just getting an idea of what kind of cuts I needed, so I just slid everything around. While I was at it, I went ahead and started working on uh, getting this roughed in right here. I've gone ahead and set my, uh, set my toilet toilet's gonna sit there vanity's gonna sit in that corner right there and of course we got this 36 inch shower sitting right here i've got everything i've just got it roughed in just trying to figure out exactly where and what to do and you know how i'm gonna do it and everything just plan it by ear but uh about to get on this right here and go ahead and get this room sealed off and then that way I'm not trying to cool the whole house at night because that thing, you know, that little bit of air conditioner is cooling the entire house coming off here. But should be able to just slide that door shut and just, you know, just cool that one room while I'm sleeping at night and working on this thing during the day. And I can put all my crap up here and it won't be getting dusty and all that. You know, I can move a lot of stuff up here, you know, to get it out of the way because I got a lot of, a lot of stuff downstairs that needs to be, uh, you know, I have to move it every time. But I'm going to work from the top through, get Hannah's little bedroom back here, and then I'm going to get on the downstairs and start working on that. Y'all hang in there. We're going to get this done. All right, here we go. Rustic, folks. Like I said, all I'm using is Rusty 10. We, we just had this stuff at the house, some stuff that me and Hannah had picked up somewhere. I don't even remember, but uh, just trying to keep it as economical as possible. Had some had some four by eight glue on, did that gable in right there with that wind in. It's hard to see, I know, with that glare, but uh, I had still lacking trim. You know, I still need to trim on the uh, corners and cracks and around the wind and stuff like that. Oh, put receptacles in, receptacle covers and all that. But it is what it is, it's rustic. But it's, uh, it's keeping that insulation. You're not rolling over and you're not in, in the insulation. You're just up against some old rusty metal. So I don't know if that's any better, but that's what we got. That's what we got anyway. I've got the shower set. No, I hadn't done any of the plumbing underneath yet, but got it ready to put the metal. I'm gonna put that, oh, I'm gonna put gabaloon inside of the walls of that right there, like I did that one for her gym. 
Uh, but right now I'm gonna try to finish this out. That way I can take some of the stuff from downstairs and put it up here and keep it in a, uh, keep it cool and keep it uh, from getting dust in it. So I'm gonna just close this wall in, sliding door right here maybe. We're gonna find out how we're gonna figure that out. But uh, we're gonna get it done, y'all. It's looking good. Y'all hang in there. I'll give you the finished product maybe after a while. We've got a little bit of daylight left. All right, here we go. There you go. Got her sealed up. Got a little old cheap, flimsy uh, rolling door, sliding door, whatever you want to call it right here. That'll block her up. Anyway, there it is. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Go to the next room. That's what I'm about to do. Go to the next one. But I can put everything in here and keep this right here from getting dust all over it. Should work out pretty good. I can stack all my stuff in here, all my clothes and stuff. Won't have to worry about them getting dusty. Yep, now we're working on the bathroom. Start on that uh, right now in just a minute. All right, folks, I have climbed up and down this ladder too many times. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a, a, a little bit better ladder, I guess, and uh, out of these rough cut two by tens. I've got this one scribed and I've got it fit like I want to. And we'll have a rolling door right here. So I'll have to pull that stringer off of that wall in order for that door to be able to track back and forth. Oh, I'm not going to make the stairs this wide. I'm going to set them in a little bit on both sides. And I'll have handrails up top and then down both sides of these uh, stringers. You know, just to make it a little bit easier to get up and down. But before I do the, you know, go up and down this thing anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. It'd just be safer than climbing up and down this ladder because uh, I get in a hurry sometimes and I come turn around and come down this thing backwards and uh, I'm gonna end up blowing the tin off this wall right here if I don't, you know, if I don't slow up a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. We'll try to put these things together. I'll try to get y'all a little, a little video on that, you know, and just add that into it. Y'all hang in there, we're gonna get it done. All right, like I was saying a while ago, I'm going to make it a little bit easier and build a set of steps, uh, you know, just to make it a little bit easier up and down instead of that ladder. Safer, got some handrails on it, you know, because I have made a many of trips. And like I said, I was turning around backwards and coming down. Oh, you see how I did it? I just cut two by ten, those rough cut, and put it between the steps, and it just made it all, uh, made it super strong. You know, you ain't got to worry about it, uh, you know, worry about it. You know, one of them popping loose, like if you just screwed it through the ends, you know, through the sides of the stringers into the ends of the uh, pads. I think it turned out pretty good, though. Oh, uh, you know, got some sanding to do on it, of course, but, uh, and it's steep, but hey, I can climb up down it a whole lot better than I could that uh, ladder. It's a lot safer right there, and if you do start to fall, you can grab a handrail if you need it. Anyway, hope y'all enjoying the videos. Appreciate y'all. All right, folks, what I was going to do is try to finish this upstairs up here. And uh, what I'm needing to finish is that big wide corrugated uh, gabaloon metal that's going to go in there. And it's on the bottom of the stack. So I cut what I had and put the ceiling and walls and as much as this stuff, you know, this scrap stuff as I had up here. And uh, I'm going to try to use the better metal downstairs. This is just to cover the walls, folks. We're just trying to keep it as economical as possible. It's just old rusty metal. But uh, what I want to do is I want to jump on that downstairs down there and get it done. And then I want to uh, uncover that gabaloon, like I said. Let's see if I can get y'all down here unless you're looking to begin it anyway. I got the plumbing and all uh, done for this upstairs bathroom. That way I can go ahead and do this, do these walls in here. Anyway, still at it, y'all. Still oh, at it. Good morning, everybody. Oh, uh, you know, I was telling you, you had that metal that was uh, in the trailer. So I went ahead and I put it up on the wall. So I've got a lot of this done right here. Turned out really good for what we're dealing with anyway. Went ahead and started on the countertops. Oh, uh, sink's going right there. Gonna have on, you know, a, a countertop, oh, uh, probably fridge right here because like I said we're going to keep it light on the electricity oh gas stove I was going to go with the gas stove decided not to probably just going to uh, cook out here on the you know cook with that thing right there or something 
Let's get you upstairs and get you caught up. Did get some more done up here on up top yesterday. Oh, got Hannah's room, ceiling and walls don't have that end done. We got oh, some of this done and then that wall in the bathroom and the ceiling. So it's coming on together. Starting to look like a cabin, I guess, or a camp or a tent or something. I don't know what it's looking like, but we trying. I'm trying to get this thing done. Anyhow, y'all hang in there. We're going to get it done eventually. Appreciate y'all. All right, let's get y'all. Let's finish up this video right here. Got the kitchen pretty much all set like I'm wanting it. Oh, still got to put the finish on top. Got everything sanded up. Got my old sink. I ain't got it plumbed in yet. Hadn't got underneath and did any of the plumbing underneath yet. I've got the uh, upstairs roughed in. You know, the upstairs bathroom. Oh, working on vanities right here. Couldn't find any sinks. No vanity sinks. So, uh, found some dog bowls at Tractor Supply. And just got my own fittings and just cut a, you know, took a circle cut out. And cut a hole in the bottom. And anyway, that's what I'm working on with that right there. That is going to be a uh, bunk. It's going to be twin on top, queen on the bottom. Bathroom back here. Hadn't finished it yet. I'll show you that later. It's going to be a shower, a uh, washing machine, possibly a dryer, you know, stack washer and dryer. I don't know yet. Getting close up here, though. Still got a little bit to do. Oh, got Hannah's, uh, Hannah's little room. Whoo, yeah, that feels real good right here, that air conditioning boy. Got Hannah's room right here, you know, close. I still got to do that one gable wall right there. Oh, bathroom up here. Y'all see how I'm doing the showers? Just gavelloon metal, that three foot wide metal, and got a, a pan in the bottom. It's going to be a little tight in here, but it's going to work. At least we'll have a bathroom up top here. But it's coming on pretty good. I just thought I'd get y'all caught up. Oh, uh, and then I'll start on another video. Turning out, turning out decent though. I think it is anyway. Y'all hang in there. We're gonna get this thing livable pretty quick. Appreciate y'all.